Hello. If you're like me and you're stuffed for space, you may want to grow a few vegetables in buckets. Just like this one. This is an X-cut flower water bucket. It's a 10 inch bucket. What you're looking at here is some mint. This was mint I grew last year um, and at the end of the year I simply put these across the top of it and stood it to one side. And as you can see as we've got through the winter months starting to head towards spring is the green shoots of recovery. So this mint has stood through winter. But this is a herb isn't it? It's not a vegetable, it's a herb. But I did grow lots of vegetables last year in these 10 inch buckets and I grew them in a square foot bucket garden. Now if you've watched my videos last year you'd see that square foot bucket garden. There are about six videos in the series charting from when the bucket garden was planted up to harvesting of the vegetables from that bucket garden. So you might be saying well okay what can you grow in these small 10 inch buckets? Well let me tell you what I grew then let me cut you to one of those videos that I posted last year and you can judge for yourself whether you think uh, it was a worthwhile thing to do and whether you actually want to do it this year. So these are the vegetables and herbs and fruit that I grew in that square foot bucket garden last year. I grew shallots, I grew celery, I grew carrots, we grew some chives, we grew some wild strawberries, we grew some leeks, we grew this mint, we grew onions, we grew potatoes, we grew beetroot, we grew lettuce, we grew parsnips, we grew beans, we grew spring onions and we, grew, and we grew Swiss chard. Now everything we grew was not a success, it's fair to say. But there were some quite good successes last year. Watch this video now, then come back to me and then we'll discuss what we're going to do this year and you can maybe decide if you're going to give it a go as well. Hello. In a few minutes time I'm going outside to shoot a further square foot bucket garden update. I'm going to do a potato reveal and a parsnip reveal. But first let me quickly bring you up to speed. The first screenshot you're going to see now is the square foot bucket garden as assembled. The second screenshot is my first update a few weeks later. The third screenshot is a few more weeks later. The fourth screenshot is a few more weeks later still, followed by some close-ups of the vegetables and a short clip showing some vegetables being harvested. Over this period of time I have been taking mint, lettuce, chives and wild strawberries.
Hope you enjoyed that introduction. Now let's go outside, have a look at the square foot bucket garden and do that potato and parsnip review. Come on, let's go. Okay, I'm going to go around the uh, bucket garden now uh, and point out the veggies, the herbs, the fruit we've got growing in the bucket garden. Um, and hopefully if this rain keeps off, because it's starting to spit, uh, we'll do that um, reveal that I promised you. The potatoes and the parsnips. I'm particularly looking forward to this reveal because the potato is a variety that's far too big to be in a small bucket like this and parsnips well I've never known parsnips growing anything as small as a 10 inch bucket uh, so I'm looking forward to seeing what's in that 10 inch bucket okay let me take you around this uh, square foot bucket garden here we've got some lettuce we've been eating lettuce for a number of weeks now here we've got some green onions, some spring onions We've been taking those for a number of weeks now. This is a bucket of carrots. The carrots aren't ready yet. Um, so we won't be taking those today. This is some celery. The celery isn't ready yet, but it's looking really good. Uh, there are four heads of celery in that, in that 10 inch water bucket. This is some mint. We've been taking mint for quite a while now as we've needed it. I've got four leeks growing in this bucket and these leeks are looking quite good. In this bucket we've got some chives growing. Uh, the chives have seen better days but they're still eatable and we're still eating those chives. And in this bucket we have some more lettuce. Uh, and these are resources that we're actually eating a number of lettuce out of this bucket. I've actually planted some more lettuce in that bucket. These are some beetroot I've got growing. Uh, you would see in that earlier clip that we actually harvested some beetroot. Uh, well the beauty of a square foot uh, bucket bed is that when you take one bucket out you can replace it with another bucket and that's exactly what I've done. So we've got some more beetroot growing in this uh, square foot bucket bed now. This is the potato we talked about. This is a potato called Sapo Mira. It's already flowered, the flowers have disappeared and some of the leaves are starting to turn at the bottom. Uh, so we're going to harvest that potato very shortly. Uh, you won't have seen these um, and they're obscured by the other vegetables in the bed. But these are some of those uh, banana shallots. Z-burn banana shallots. This is a new addition to the bed. I think this probably replaced something like Swiss chard, uh, which had bolted. Uh, I showed you that in the uh, last video. Four onions. Uh, these onions have all bolted. Uh, I've nipped the seed heads out and I'm just going to let those go and see what we get. This is the um, parsnips. This bucket looks as though it's drying out uh, and I would normally water these today but we're going to harvest them anyway so there's no point in doing that. I've got an empty bucket in here that you can't see. Uh, I just need to get something else in this square foot bucket bed to replace some of the vegetables that have already been harvested. This is uh, a new addition to the bed. This is some giant red celery. The celery over the other side is Victoria. This is giant red. Now the giant red celery in my raised bed is all bolded. It's all gone to seed. Um, so I don't know what to expect with this, but hey, we'll, like, we'll run with it. And these are my wild strawberries. Okay, and we've had quite a few of those, and there's quite a few still on this plant. Um, yeah, so they're the wild strawberries. Okay, let's not hang about. Uh, let's get this potato plant out. Let's get these uh, parsnips out. And let's do a reveal. Come on. Okay, I've got the potato in the barrel as you can see. 
Um, we're just going to take the top off it now uh, and then we'll drop this uh, bucket into this butter see what we've got. Throw these down the garden, tidy up later. Okay, sapo meter, no date, so I don't know how long that sapo's been in here, just one, one potato. Um, and it doesn't look as though I've added any uh, fertiliser to this bucket, but I may have, just haven't recorded it. <coughs> oh, excuse me. Oh, hello. Here's another ticket. What's this? Maris Piper. <laughs> I have a feeling that I've harvested Maris Piper from this bucket. I've recharged the bucket with the same soil, I've probably added fertiliser and then I've planted this sap or murder. That's a best guess. That's a best guess. So I think this bucket and this soil has already delivered Maris Piper this year and now hopefully it's going to be delivering sap or murder. How's that for a quick turn round? Oh yeah, can you see it? We've got one at least. <laughs> There's one. Hey, that's a big lad, isn't it? Funny shaped. I'm sure if we look at that potato long enough, it'll look like something. What do you reckon? What does that look like to you? Does it look like anything? Let me turn it round. Does that look like any? Hey, what about that? Boy, that's a face, surely. An eye, an eye, and a nose. What do you think? Well, Pop that on there. An eye, an eye, a nose and a moustache. <laughs> right, okay, let's put that to one side. See if there's anything else in here. Well, I've got to tell you, we're happy with that. I'm guessing there's over half a pound of potatoes there, maybe three quarters of a pound of potatoes. Um, and that's the second harvest from this soil. Right, let's put these to one side. Let's do that, um, let's do those uh, parsnips. These are the parsnips. Um, I'm going to try and take all four in one go out of this bucket. You've never seen four parsnips harvested in, in one go before, I'm betting. And you've certainly never seen them grown in as small a bucket as this. Um, let's see if we can do this. Oh yes, it's coming. Yeah, it's coming. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I think we've got it. Wow. How's that? Now then, let's see if we can bump this soil off. I've done this with carrots. I'm not too sure I can do it with parsnips. Okay, let's see if we can bump the soil off. Whoa. Oh, yes. Oh. Yeah, we're getting a reveal here, aren't we? I'll tell you what we'll do. We'll take these leaves off. It just makes life a bit easier. Okay. And these are going where the potato tops went. Down the garden. And we'll recover them later. Get out of it. Right. Now then. Well, hey, come on. There isn't a lot of parsnip there, but I'll tell you what, there is some parsnip there. Isn't there? 
I think this is worth doing. This one isn't as big, but there is some parsnip there. Let's have a look at this guy. <laughs> I don't think these parsnips are a stump-rooted variety, but for the purposes of this video, this is a stump-rooted variety of parsnip. <laughs> Hey, look at that. Come on. From a 10 inch water bucket. In a square foot bucket garden. Parsnips. And not another vegetable disturbed. I've just harvested four parsnips. Not another vegetable in that square foot bucket garden disturbed. You try and do that in a conventional square foot garden. A potato harvested. Nothing else disturbed in that square foot bucket garden. You try and do that in a conventional square foot garden. Okay, what I'm going to do now is I'm going to give these a wash up. We'll lay them all out in this batter uh, and then we'll call it a day. These are the four parsnips. Hey, they're looking good, aren't they? From a 10 inch water bucket, four parsnips. Let's get the potatoes. There's the potatoes. We've left that gap deliberately. You know it's coming there, don't you? Hey, who's this fella? Who is he? Do you recognise him? I'll get you a close up on this uh, big guy and then we'll call it a day, but hey, come on. This is worth doing. Square foot bucket gardens. 10 inch water buckets, come on. If you've got an area four foot by four foot where you can stand 16 of these 10 inch water buckets, you can be doing this. You can be doing this. Okay, let's get you a close up on this guy. Well, this potato definitely looks like somebody. I just can't for the life of me think who it is. What about you? Do you think this potato looks like somebody you know? Let us all know. Let's have a laugh. Let us all know who you think this potato looks like. Okay, so I hope you've enjoyed this video. We'll do another. Uh, we've still carrots to come. We've still celery to come. There's still lots growing in the garden. Um, but we've not taken any celery or carrots yet, um, so we don't know how they'll turn out. But hey, so far so good, would you agree? Okay, this is Homegrown Veg, signing out. Welcome back. Were you impressed? Do you think it's worthwhile? Those parsnips were lovely. Those potatoes were nice and just enough for one or two people for a meal. Don't worry about storage, you're not going to store anything. You're going to grow it and eat it. And this, this mint is going back into this year's square foot bucket garden. Let me just move this to one side. These are the chives. Look at these green shoots. I've done nothing with this. All I did was took the tops off and moved it to one side and the chives are growing again. Once you've got chives, providing you don't do anything silly, you've got chives forever. Once you've got mint, provided you don't do anything silly, you've got mint forever. Have a look at this. These are the strawberries. Okay. Lots of dead growth on here. Um, but these strawberries are going back into that square foot bucket garden this year. If you've got a space, four foot by four foot, there or thereabouts, you can do this. And let me show you this. 
And these are some winter onions that I started in September. These can go in that square foot bucket garden. So although we're still in the winter months, we have these four buckets ready to be positioned. And when I plant up more buckets, they'll go into that grid pattern and make up that square foot bucket garden. I think you should give it a go, don't you? If you've got the space, you should give it a go and only plant the vegetables that you like. And don't think you're going to get 100% success. I'll be very surprised if you do. Um, you will get some failures, but you will get some successes. And you'll learn through your mistakes, won't you? Like everybody does. Okay. Hey, what a way to start off the new year. Building a square foot bucket garden. Now what I'm going to do is, I'm going to pin a link uh, on the back of this video that will take you to all those six videos that I produced last year. Um, I think they're in sequences of about three or four weeks between video and video so you can actually see the progression of the square foot bucket garden. You can see some things thrown out because they weren't a success and some things brought in to replace what we took out. Okay, so I hope you've enjoyed this video um, and if you want to know more about square foot bucket gardens let me just move this I'm going to put the link right here follow that link watch those videos homegrown veg signing out